you talked about Israel that would sign a peace agreement with the United Arab Emirates. Emirates. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. Well, they signed it on August 13th, right. but that they, there was going to be a peace treaty. Could this be the peace treaty or the beginning of the peace treaty system that's going to bring the final seven years? Well, you know, the most important prophetic fulfillment in the last 2,000 years will be the signing of a peace agreement between the Palestinians and the Israelis. And there's a lot of details to this. I don't know how much detail we want to go into, but the Palestinians had refused to go to the table. They said, as long as you're going to allow Israel to annex the settlements, which was part of the peace deal, we're not coming to the table. Well, Trump worked it out between Israel and the United Arab Emirates that if the United Arab Emirates would sign with Israel and recognize Israel and establish diplomatic relations, that Israel would then say, okay, we're, we're suspending the possibility of annexing the settlements. And now Trump wanted to do that in a hope to entice the Palestinians to come to the peace table. If this is successful, when that is done, we will enter the final seven years. And I think it's very possible it could happen this year. Trump would love to have it before the election. It would be a great feather in his cap. So it is very possible. We can't say for sure yet, but they certainly would like to do it. If not yet this year, it looks like it's coming very quickly now. We will enter the final seven years to the Battle of Armageddon and the physical return of Jesus to this earth. So you're saying we're really living in the end times. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And we also need to be aware because when we enter the final seven years, does this simply mean the Antichrist is going to come, the false prophet is going to come, the great tribulation, the mark of the beast is going to come? That's not all it means. That's all going to happen. But more importantly, the Bible teaches there's going to be a great revival during these final times. So we should not be gearing up uh, to just disappear. We need to be gearing up for the greatest revival the world has ever seen. And in order to do that, we need to be aware of what's going on. 